Hi, and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and your current union energy going on between you and your beloved Twin Flame. And this is the total solar eclipse, new moon in Sagittarius edition. Hot off the press. Uh, yeah, hot off my Android camera. <laughs> So yeah, um, and my my Mercury is conjunct my natal Mercury right now in Sagittarius, so watch out world. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, I, uh, I also just did a reading for Twin Flames Universe, and I'm going to link that above, looking at timestamp, wow, you know, already over 40 seconds in, there you go. So yeah, going to link that, if you want to check that out, it's a nice accompaniment to this, whether you're watching this you know, during the eclipse, years down the road, you know, wondering how whatever you're going through now ties back in with that, that eclipse that happened in 2020 in December before the Great Conjunction, right? So that actually can be fun to do. I just rewatched one of my readings from three years ago when um, Saturn entered, uh, Saturn entered Capricorn originally. Um, not like originally, originally, obviously, I think that's, that's obvious, but, uh, yeah, like the themes that were going on, what I was talking about, and, um, I was like, oh yeah, this reading is good, so, yeah, I'll link that here too, timestamp again, okay, a, a minute later, cool, um, so yeah, if you want to check that out, then, uh, it could be really helpful because what's happening now is the great with the great conjunction and Saturn in just a few days, right? I believe is entering, uh, Aquarius and pretty much hasn't been, uh, in Aquarius, you know, in quite a long time, except for just a little short period of time, a few months, um, before it went retrograde back into Capricorn and then retraced when it stopped retrograding in Capricorn. So it's a big deal for a lot of reasons, um, with also joining with Jupiter, where it is going to be joining. And um, yeah, if you're a Capricorn sun like me, it has been an interesting last uh, three years, I, I betcha. So yeah, um, I'm pretty stoked about about the movement happening and I mean I'm not dependent on it I know Saturn moving into Aquarius is not my source of change or whatever right that's for the divine and it's all by the divine's hand and um, with that being said you know get started with the reading uh, so I have some moonology cards here by Yasmin Boland and I have a roomy oracle card as well and I have some crystals, including some nice selenite. Oh, just so nice and like relieving to the crown chakra, I feel. Focus on that for a second. While I also remind you that I have my Eclipse offer going on, if you're interested in taking me up on that. Um, basically, it's like a gift to you for, uh, for your investment. So, um... I, I'll link that below, but it's uh, 50, you know, if you're doing 55 or more for like a reading or coaching or even art, then it's um, knocking $10 off. And then if it's 111 or more, I am knocking $20 off, but that's only good until if you're watching this until the end of the 14th Monday at midnight Pacific Standard Time. So if you're watching this after that, I still encourage you to just sign up to my email list because that's how you'll receive these offers and check out my readings you know like uh you might really like getting one of your own because it'll bring you a lot of clarity healing and uh, it's just it's gonna be information that you can't get anywhere else right like uh i really love doing readings for myself i find them really super helpful so that's why i offer them and then all the other awesome stuff too but let's let's get started with the reading i could go on and on so uh let's start with the divine feminine right now and the divine feminine oh confidence is your key to success new moon and leo and listen to me talking about you know my great readings and all that right so um yeah this is for you too divine feminine like um just you know own your confidence own you own your value and um 
And we do have a new moon going on, not in Leo at all, but Sagittarius, which is, you know, fire. There's and and um, so there's some similarity there to the actual astrology of what's happening. And um, but you know, at any given time, all of the different energies of the uh, zodiac, the um, all the different twelve signs are present. So yeah, um, just own it you know own what you're doing own you don't be afraid to speak up for yourself don't be afraid to go deeper with the truth of who you are and look at those uncomfortable places you know and heal them and also realize that's not you that is not you and like my cat is affirming that so yeah hopefully she's gonna it's gonna calm down yeah well, go figure. She's meowing when I'm talking about Leo. I mean, and she's definitely like a confident kitty. Like, I've seen her do some things and I'm like, okay, you know, with other animals and stuff. Um, and she's very sweet at the same time. Like, everyone's like, oh my god, your cat Luna is so nice, you know. Um, and, uh... I don't know. She's just on her own. She's always been like that. I mean, yeah, like we've healed through a lot together, but I know she probably wants to be like on, on camera, but that's not going to happen right now. Um, but yeah, sometimes you can really learn a lot from your pets, from your kids. You know, any anyone can be your teacher too. Anything can be your teacher in life. And sometimes when I'm having some rough moments, Luna really can teach me like compassion and stuff. And it helps me to be more confident in myself and moving forward because I know it's okay also to like make mistakes and not feel bad about it. I mean, and it doesn't mean like don't um, look honestly at what you did, right? But like ego is so good at trying to, you know, wrap you into holding on to guilt and everything that there is a fine line there. And, um,. All you really need to do is just make the choice to love yourself and to receive the wisdom and know that it's okay. I mean, if like, think about all the things in your life that you have probably get forgiven other people for and stuff. And then I don't know about you, but sometimes I like do some design error wrong, you know, for my business. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it, you know, but like, come on, it's not, um, it's not a big deal, and actually sometimes, I'm not saying mistakes are, like, what you want to aim for, but I notice that, like, when I sometimes see people doing little things, you know, like, I am subscribed to some email lists and stuff that I just check out, you know, just for whatever reason, and there have been a few times where it's like, I just notice a typo or something, and I'm not like, oh my god, that's so unprofessional, I'm like, wow, this person is, like, just they're writing emails and they're sending them out. I know what they're doing. Like, they're just, like, wanting to communicate with their audience. And they're just, like, being themselves. They're not, like, checking everything over. And I can kind of tell. And, you know, I kind of appreciate that because I read the email and I actually received some good knowledge out of it. So, um, yeah, like, being confident isn't about, like, having your eyeliner on perfect all the time, right? Like, that is nice. It does look good. But... Um, yeah, there is sometimes, like, it's, it's just being you and letting that be good. Like, letting that be really good. And if someone doesn't like it, then I don't really know. Like, who cares? <laughs> as long as you're, as long as you're being authentic and loving and not using that as a way to polarize and, like, you know, be unnecessarily aggressive, um, or angsty, right? And working through that. So yeah, anyway, confidence is your key to success, also, also very attractive to your twin flame because you're just like, hey, I don't, uh, I don't need you, I, um, I value myself here and that's actually really like a good thing because you're going then to the divine, you know, your own relationship with the divine and um, not being reliant for your twin flame to play a role that he's actually really not meant to play in your life and probably makes him very uncomfortable if you try to push him into like being your source of love. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't love you and that doesn't mean that he's not perfectly capable of loving you. So at the same time, don't sell yourself short and like think it's 
okay to be treated badly, but you have to do the mirror exercise, sorry, you know, like, you can't, again, like, you know, demand that your twin flame changes because they're mirroring something to you. But uh, if you're divinely guided to speak up for yourself or something like that, then, you know, look at that, see what's there. It doesn't mean don't do that, like, express yourself. So, yeah. I hope all of that really like makes sense and like comes together for you because I know sometimes it can seem confusing or like you it could be easy to like fall into more of a victimhood trap which is not healthy and just it feels so bad so don't do that but you know you want to be like oh I've done everything I can my twin flame's still not talking to me well have you though I mean you're you're whining about it so I guess you're like upset so if you weren't upset about it then you'd be loving yourself, and then they'd probably be more attracted to you then. So, yeah, I think you, you get where I'm going with this. Confidence is your key to success. It's all really right here in the card, so we're gonna move on now to the Divine Masculine's card. Let's see what's going on for him. Have faith in your dreams, Divine Masculine. This is very nice, pretty card. Kind of the picture on it reminds me of the flowers I used earlier for my Eclipse offer, what do you call it, like a meme, I guess? Um, but yeah, lots of flowers, it's pretty. Uh, and so just having faith in your true dreams, not letting anyone uh, stomp on them, including your Divine Feminine. I mean, like, you know, um, if you're a sensitive Divine Masculine and uh, you're kind of going through something, like, you also have to claim your own value and your own desires and recognize that they are worthy of being fulfilled. And uh, get clear on what those are, because maybe you've been trading in a part of yourself for something that you thought would be, be like a better payoff than what you actually desire. And it's safe to let go of that and really instead, you know, go, go after your dreams and desires, right? Not like a, not like fantasy land stuff, but like sometimes what you desire, you think it's a fantasy land because you have all this separation consciousness around it for some reason. Maybe something to do with how you're growing up or maybe you're just like denying how you feel about something. But, um, that's too bad because God has a vision for you and if you just align with that, you're gonna feel good. And, um, so if you're already doing that, then, like, way to go. And just look at those places where you still can do that more and is there just an extra little step that you're not taking that's real, that could really seal the, the deal? Because having faith in your dreams isn't just about sitting around and having faith, right? It is about taking action sometimes. And that's what I'm kind of getting with, uh, with this card. So I'm getting for the Divine Masculine that there's some action that you have a little bit of resistance to taking somehow that, uh, that you can. And for the Divine Feminine, I guess now I'm talking about issues, you know, <laughs> resolving issues. I don't know, the Eclipse kind of brings up that up because it's transformation, right? And so going back for a second to the Divine Feminine, that thing that was really brought up was just that fine line with confidence but also like humbling yourself essentially and um rooting out any victimhood mentality or going to your twin flame for love but also at the same time demanding respect from just in general i mean you can't demand respect outside of yourself but you can just command respect you know you can respect yourself and um so that's again going back to that confidence is key and in another deck there's a card that talks about like confidence coming from god god confidence can't remember it's the crystal angels deck but it's a really nice little explanation of how true confidence comes through the divine so confidence isn't like a false you know pretense or something it's it's real and it's safe to just tap into that and it's not again about how you 
look or how you walk or whatever. It's beyond that. Although it will be reflected outwardly, but maybe not in the way like, you know, how thin you are or how whatever you are. I don't know. But just in your actual, like, there's a deeper beauty there that gets radiated when you're really confident that is also very attractive to your twin flame. So, okay, let's move on to the middle card. I think we get it. Oops, this wax here is getting a little bit melty, like a little, I guess you can't see it, like a little lake of wax. So we have resplendent with grace. Dun, 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 dun. So pretty. Looks like, I don't know, those colors look kind of like really beautiful. Um, what is that called? The old manuscripts, like illuminated manuscripts. Kind of reminds me of that style. Um, number 24. We're going to read just a little bit of this. Not like, so this is the Rumi, beautiful Rumi Oracle by um, Alana Fairchild. This is a guidebook. Highly suggest it. So let's read the poem at least. By Rumi, none other than Rumi. Greetings from my heart to you who are always with me. Hidden inside as the heart, you are the compass of my life. My course is your way no matter where I go. You exist everywhere and in everything, always watching over us. My soul brightens in the darkness when I speak your name. Far beyond the body, there is an opening from my heart into yours. Through that opening, I send you secret messages like the moonlight. I polish the mirror of my heart to be your reflection. I make my ear the receiver for the tenderness of your words. You are in the ear. You are in the mind. You are in every burning heart. What am I saying? You are I. This is my way to describe you. Sounds like Rumi had a pretty good relationship with God. Has. I mean, Rumi is not, you know, eternal. Um, but anyways. So yeah, this oracle comes to you with a message. You may be wondering if you can attain this next stage of growth in your life. Dun, dun, dun. You are already well equipped to do so, no matter what you might believe about the situation, circumstances, or others involved, even yourself. You have within your soul possession more than enough grace to see you through anything you are bold enough to envision for yourself, or for any vision you feel life has bestowed upon you. So pray through unconditional love to access all that you are to be supported by those beings that love you without condition. Success is yours, but you must believe in your ability, your readiness, and your capacity to take this next phase of the journey now. How could it be otherwise for you are one with grace? So I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there. I skipped around a little bit and yeah, but you get like you get the the main the main course of the message I think. But the whole the whole thing is worth looking at if you have the guidebook I say. But at the same time, that feels good for right now. I really like the way that this looks like I don't know all together here. So yeah, um, and that number 24 is 12 times 2, you may know, and 12 is like the ending of a cycle, and um, so to me what it's, it's kind of speaking to both you and your twin flame, transforming over a like specific issue simultaneously. Um, of course in your own like individual experience, but your individual experience is never actually separate from your twin flames But it is also your experience and their experience and like, you know, it's safe to have your own experience So um, Nope, just got a message on my phone and got distracted there. Oops I, mean, <laughs> I don't usually look like 
but I did, kind of glanced. Um, so anyways, uh, I guess that's like the divine saying, hey, like it's safe to just like look at messages and also like it's not going to take you off of your course. Um, and so yeah, looking at like the little things that come up, but also keeping your vision focused on what it is they're really working towards right now and not like getting caught up in something else. Uh, it's a really good time to move forward and keep going and to claim the energy that you feel within to do that, to like kind of fulfill whatever it is that you're really desiring. Um, and at the same time, of course, like taking care of yourself is always, always recommended, you know? Um, so yeah, good, good self-care balance, but like, don't be afraid to just like keep going. If you have the energy, don't be afraid of your the energy that is flowing through you to help you move forward towards your dreams. So that feels pretty complete. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. So check out the links below. You can always also book an intro discovery session with me. I would love to help you. Discovery sessions are for really like coming up for a plan for you, how to move forward. And also if you don't know the mirror exercise, I can help you work through it so that you can start doing it more on your own. Uh, of course, you don't need me to get started with the mirror exercise. You can totally look it up yourself. And that's also in the book linked below. One of the many wonderful links down below. So yeah, uh, hit the subscribe button. You can like this video if you liked it. I love to see how many thumbs up I got. Like, did I do, did I do something that you like? I would love to know. So enjoy the energy of this eclipse and just like, yeah, be really proud of everything that you've really come to as of right now. And look at what really truly is transforming within, within your heart, right? Even if something isn't outwardly necessarily transforming or if it is awesome, but really like pay attention to your heart right now and what's transforming within and go with the flow of peace there and you've got it. So yeah, take care. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed your reading and uh, I'll just see you. I'll talk to you again soon. All right, bye.